Welcome to Deaf Ed TV. It's a brand new day, a brand new chance to learn. I am Ma'am Barry, and I am very excited to bring you today's lesson. So set your mind, ready your heart, and brace yourselves as we explore the world of oral communication. For this episode, we will talk about the functions of communication. What are the different functions of communication? And what is the importance of these different communication functions in our daily lives? Let's figure them out together. But before we begin, let's first have a recap. You might not have noticed, but every time you communicate with people around you, your manner of speaking, your tone of voice, and even your choice of words largely depend on the context and the person or people you are talking to. You transform and adapt to suit the needs of the moment. It is important to note that these are forms of communication strategies to avoid misunderstanding and communication breakdown. Let's recall the different strategies which can help us avoid communication breakdowns. Can you remember them all? If you can, finish each of these statements. Stay. Write. Focused. Intelligibly. Yes. Speak. With your ears and eyes. Of course. Listen. Minimize. Indeed, distractions. B. Exactly, specific. And do not. Correct. Jump to conclusions. What about broom, cut lip, and center seven C's of effective communication? Can you remember them all? Let's enumerate. Completeness. Conciseness, consideration, concreteness, courtesy, clearness, and correctness. Again, completeness, conciseness, consideration, concreteness, courtesy, clearness, and correctness. Take note of these seven C's of effective communication to avoid communication breakdown. And don't forget that you may use helpful expressions in any communication situation. Now let's proceed to our new lesson. Are you ready? Let's get the ball rolling! This time, you will explore the reasons why people communicate in specific ways. We will also explore different situations to learn the various functions of communication and their relevance to your daily interactions with people. Why do you think would someone say, Stand straight and speak louder? What is the speaker's purpose for saying this? What about saying, How are you? What have you been up to these days? Why do you think would someone say that to us? There are moments when people close to us would tell us, You can make it through this season. I believe in you. What's their reason for telling us that? Or if you are listening to everything that I am saying right now, What do you think is my purpose for saying all of these things? I can say, I am very happy to be given an opportunity to learn despite everything that's going on around us. And what would be my purpose for saying that? We say a lot of things to different people for a reason. These reasons or purposes are what we call functions of communication. There are five different functions of communication. Control and regulation, social interaction, motivation, information dissemination, and emotional expression. Let's go over each function one by one. Let's start with the first one. Control and regulation. 
We use this function when we aim to regulate or control the behavior of a person or group of people. These could also be delivered in forms of instructions, requests, or commands. Some example statements for this would be Plant a tree and save a life. Do me a favor and please clean your space. Go straight ahead and turn right when you see the greenhouse. Have you ever had a conversation with anyone where you use this function of communication? I'm pretty sure you have. Now let's proceed to the next one. For the next one, we have social interaction. We use this function when our goal is to simply interact with people. These are greetings, getting to know people, chit-chats, catching up with friends, or questions to initiate a casual conversation. Some example statements for this would be, Good morning! How's everyone? Hey, what's poppin'? It's so nice to see you! Oh hi! Have you seen my pet Yorkie? Have you ever had a fruitful and fun conversation with your friends or colleagues? I hope you have! And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Go and have a chit-chat with your friends! The third one is motivation. We use this function when we aim to inspire or motivate a person or people to do or do better. These may come in forms of cheers, quotations, Bible verses, or advice. Some example statements for this would be The Golden Rule Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. Just a dare reminder always choose to be kind no matter how hard the world treats you. Proverbs 12 26 The righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. You can do it. Just believe in yourself. Have you ever sought advice or given one? If you have, and if you do, then you've used this function of communication. Don't ever stop, because who else but us would motivate each other to be our better versions? Let's proceed to the fourth one. Information dissemination is a function used when we aim to share information or data for the purpose of educating our receivers. These may be facts, announcements, news, or information based on the given evidence. Some example statements for this would be In January 2020, the Al Volcano erupted once again after roughly four decades. Babies are born with 270 bones, but because some bones fuse together as their bodies grow, an adult human skeleton ends up having 206 bones. Announcement There will be a summative examination next week about the lessons we discussed for the first quarter. This function of communication is vital for everyone. We must be able to experience this every day because learning should never stop. And indeed, it doesn't. Because we learn new things about the world and life every day. Now for the last function of communication, we have emotional expression. We use this function when we aim to connect with people emotionally. These are emotions we express, accept, deny, or affirm. Some example statements for this would be I sincerely apologize for my mistake. You give me butterflies to my tummy. I really don't appreciate the way you talk to me. <gasps> oh wow! This is so exciting! Every day we get to feel different emotions. And believe me, we get to express them through our choice of words, facial expressions, and even the tone of voice we use. Just a dear reminder, never be afraid to express your emotions as long as you do not offend or belittle anyone. And that's it. Those are the five different functions of communication. Now let's have an activity. Take a clear look at these situations that I'll be showing. 
and try to describe what's happening in each one. Are you ready? Let's start! Look at this picture. What's going on here? Correct. This picture shows two people waving at each other. What about this next picture? Right. This displays a broadcaster delivering news to people. This one? Great. This is a picture of a priest delivering his sermon to the people. Now for this picture. Very good. This shows a person crying on his own. What about this last one? Excellent! This is a picture of a recipe that we can follow to cook a meal. Now let's take a clear look at all these pictures. Two people waving at each other. This is social interaction. A wave is a greeting sign which is used to initiate a casual conversation. This is information dissemination. News is information about the current events happening in a specific location. When news is delivered to people, people become educated and informed about current events. This is motivation. A priest's sermon contains words from the Bible whose goal is to inspire people to live better. This is emotional expression. Even when you are alone, expressing emotions is still a way of communication. We need to communicate with ourselves too so we can understand how we feel. This is control or regulation. A recipe contains instructions about the ingredients we need to buy and the process we need to follow to come up with our desired meal. This gives us instructions. Thus, the purpose is to control behavior. Were you able to get all the answers? That's terrific! Let's have another activity. Look at each picture. How would each of the following persons address or talk to the other involved person in the given situation? Use your knowledge on the functions of communication in order to write what he or she should appropriately say in the speech balloons. Let's start with the first one. In the first situation, Dr. Carlos is about to tell his patient that she needs to undergo a painful operation. In the next one, Ms. Duanzon finds out that one of her students was not able to submit his projects on time. She then asks him to stay inside the classroom so he can finish his work. In the third one, Ramon's sister is upset because of the low score she got in her test. He decides to talk to her so she could do better next time. In the fourth situation, Mr. Flores will announce on national TV that a storm is about to enter the coastal regions of eastern Luzon. For the last one, Tina wants to invite her Muslim friend to her birthday celebration. Have you thought well of what each speaker in this situation should say? Great! Of course, your answers may vary, but it may be answered this way. In this situation, the function emotional expression may be used as an approach to talk to the patient. Dr. Carlos may say, I am so sorry to inform you that you will have to undergo a painful operation. For this situation, Ms. Tuazon may use the function control or regulation as an approach. Ms. Tuazon can say, Stay here and finish your work. Then you can go home after. The function of communication motivation may be used as an approach for this situation. Ramon may motivate his sister to do better in her test next time by saying, It's okay. There's always a next time. Maybe you can review for a longer period of time. In this situation, the function of communication, information dissemination, should be used as an approach. 
Mr. Flores may announce it like this. Bagyong Raleigh is about to enter the coastal regions of eastern Luzon. Social interaction is the best approach to use in this situation. Tina may casually invite her Muslim friend by saying, Hi! I would like to invite you next week for my birthday celebration. Will you come? Do you now understand how the function of communication works? We need to know and understand them so we can use the proper approach when communicating with others. The five functions of communication are Control and regulation Social interaction Motivation Information dissemination And emotional expression Students of the Philippines, we are finally done discussing the functions of communication. Now before we end this episode, you have a chance to motivate someone to be their version 2.0. Let's spread positivity! How would you motivate someone to become their better version? To answer this, do post on your Facebook page using the hashtag TheReminder so I can easily see your answers. The best answer will be featured on the Dep Ed Philippines Facebook page. Make sure your post is in public. On our next episode, we will talk about verbal and nonverbal communication. What are these? Let's learn about them when I see you next time. Once again, this is Ma'am Derry bringing you lessons in communication and leaving you with a dare reminder. Don't just speak with your mind. Speak with your heart. Ciao!